Today we're gonna talk about 16 of the best Blender add-ons for architectural visualization that you can use to create amazing interior and exterior scenes in a short period of time and in the best possible quality. Some of these add-ons are good for speeding up the modeling process, others are good for generating procedural elements that are hard to create manually, and some of them are for getting faster results and better quality renders. And we are gonna start the countdown with Number 16, Real Grass. Real Grass is an add-on that allows you to add a pack of PBR grass and weeds models in your scenes. The pack comes with 8 grass species and 6 weed species with different variations. The UI of the add-on makes it easier for artists to add the species they need to fit their scenes. Just select the ground and hit add to see the results. Also it is possible to change the seed to generate the results they like. Number 15, Building Tools. This add-on is interesting because it makes it possible to create nice buildings or houses real fast by adding procedurally some of the most important elements for buildings like floors, windows, railings, doors, balconies, and roofs. Building Tools works using the same principle as the add-on that are used to create or place intricate details on hard surface models but instead of that, it is used to generate architectural elements real quick and this add-on is especially good for getting quick exterior architectural visualization results. Number 14, Real Trees. Real Trees is an add-on that allows you to easily create forests and nature scenes. It contains 20 models of the most common trees in the world. You can use the high quality models for extreme close-up scenes while the low poly models can be used to create forest scenes. This add-on can be useful for both close-up shots, also creating forests in the background, which is an option to allow artists to have more flexibility if they want to render the scene where the trees are visible in great detail, or if they just want to create forests in the background. Number 13, Sketch Style. Sketch Style is an add-on that can be used for ambient occlusion, clay and sketch type of rendering. Like what we can find in professional software that have the ability to create non-realistic renders such as SketchUp. Sketch style can be used by concept artists, product and industrial designers, and architects who need or like the look of line drawings. Actually what this add-on can do can be completed manually using Blender, but it is going to be tedious and time consuming. Also, it can be difficult to toggle back and forth between a photoreal render and a freestyle one. This tool can deal with those problems, furthermore, it has the ability to selectively assign a photoreal materials to the sketch style scene. This add-on is usually needed in the early design phases, and sometimes it is better to use this style of rendering because Clients have the inherent expectation when looking at line drawing that they are reviewing only concepts, not final designs. Number 12, Blender OpenStreetMap. This add-on comes in two versions, one for free and the other is paid. The free version of the Blender OSM add-on provides an easy way to download and import OpenStreetMap for Blender. It supports simple 3D buildings generation for creating exterior city scenes or outdoor scenes in general using the information coming from online satellite information that will be translated in the 3D viewport of Blender. The premium version provides much more options, like the ability to import buildings from OpenStreetMaps with the default materials, tellable building textures, and default materials and textures to mimic lit windows for a late evening setting. Also the ability to import forests and single trees as 3D objects and having options to use custom tileable building textures, satellite imagery, and web maps projected on a terrain. Number 11, JArcVis. JArcVis is an add-on for Blender that helps artists to generate certain architectural objects in a way that makes them easily customizable. The architectural elements that can be created are sliding elements, floors, windows and roofs. Number 10, Blender GIS. Blender GIS is an add-on that uses satellite data to create cities and exterior environments. This add-on is very similar to Blender OSM except that it is for free. 
Also, it can be a little bit difficult to use sometimes. Using this add-on, it is possible to create cities instantly with bridges, rivers, railways, and tens of thousands of buildings if necessary. Blender GIS is a fantastic time saver if you want to render city scenes in a very short period of time completely for free using Blender. Number 9. Scatter The Object Scatter add-on for Blender allows you to scatter a mesh on a surface. It can be used to scatter any type of object across surfaces like grass on a terrain, buildings on a large surface, or anything else that can take an insane amount of time to scatter manually. This add-on is already built in Blender and it can be used to generate some interesting results for free. Number 8. Archimesh This add-on comes with Blender and allows you to create a lot of architectural elements like rooms, house structures such as walls, doors with one or two leaves, columns, stairs, straight and curved, roofs and more. Archimesh allows visualization artists or architectural designers who don't want to deal with some of the complex or boring technicalities of modeling to save time and have a better experience overall. Number 7. City Builder 3D This add-on allows artists to create custom cities in Blender with over 40 various 3D models and textured building assets that can be applied to 3D scenes very quickly. An asset database includes three differently themed kits for rendering exterior scenes of cities or visual effects shots using 15 3D assets in each kit. The three options of building to choose from are Metropolitan, Derelict Future, and Cyberpunk Clean Future Cityscape Assets. You can use different kits if you want a certain theme or environment without having to do the customization manually. Number 6. True Grass As the name of this add-on suggests, True Grass is able to generate realistic grass with 8 grass species, 3 wheat species, 5 plants or flowers, 5 mushroom species, in addition to ground debris. In total, it comes with 22 PBR realistic grass assets that you can play around with using a lot of different settings to generate the needed result. The parameters that allow you to use the add-on come with an intuitive UI which allows you to adjust particle settings, change material settings with a custom material on each one of them. Generally speaking, this add-on can be a great time saver for creating scenes with realistic grass that will make outdoor scenes more believable. Number 5. E-Cycles E-Cycles is a Blender add-on that is used to achieve better ray tracing performance. It promises to solve a real problem for artists that need high-quality renders on their own machines in a reasonable period of time. Why path tracing is important? Well, because it usually gives better and realistic results, but it is often slow and has a lot of settings and requires expensive hardware or using render farms, which can be expensive too sometimes. Number 4. Grass Vault this is a Blender add-on in the form of high-quality asset pack containing different species of weeds, grass, and moss, as well as various kinds of debris. And all of this can be used to add a touch of realism and imperfection to exterior visualization scenes. You can populate this scene with different vegetation species using particle systems. Also, it is possible to add plants individually if you want to have more control over the final result. In addition to that, you can use paint density or length maps to be able to scatter plants across different surfaces in the scene manually while maintaining a high degree of control over the distribution of those plant species. Number 3. Pro Lighting Skies Pro Lighting Skies is an add-on from the Blender Guru that artists can use to instantly change outdoor lighting to any time of the day, any weather, and achieve more realistic results because it is based on using high dynamic range images or what is known as HDRI. This add-on is important if you want to render scenes using HDR images because it makes the process easier and faster since it gives artists control to choose from many different HDRI images to mimic the real lighting we see in real environments. This add-on can be a big time and energy saver because it lets you test different HDRI images real quick to see which one works better in a particular scene. Also, it lets you change the quality if you have a slower machine and of course it is possible to change the intensity of the lighting 
to fit any environment. Number 2. Archipack Archipack is a Blender add-on that contains a collection of parametric primitives for architectural visualization. It is an easy way to create some of the most needed elements in Archiviz, like walls, windows, doors, floors, stairs, just to name a few. You can use presets like the type of stairs or windows which gives variety and a lot more options for architects and designers who don't want to spend a lot of time modeling. Number 1. Gaffer Gaffer is a Blender add-on that helps artists like their scenes by presenting all the right settings in convenient panels for quick access and experimentation which can be great for saving time, efficiency and focusing on creating better lighting without getting distracted searching for buttons. But Gaffer isn't just a collection of things that you can already do. It includes a lot of tools that can speed up the workflow and help artists focus on the tasks at hand. I hope you found this video about Blender add-ons or architectural visualization useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.